Hello, everyone. My name is Yunus Lari. I'm a currently a student in Khalifa University. Um, Your Excellencies, board members, President Larson, Professor Allison, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, media, and students. We would like to welcome you all today to the launch of Khalifa University Distinguished Speaker Series on Science, Technology, and Society. Today's lecture is entitled, How Fragile is Global Nuclear Order? We will be delivered by Dr. Graham Allison, the director of Harvard University's Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs. In light of natural disaster which took place in Japan this weekend, we would like to pause and offer a minute of silence for the owner who lost their lives. Please welcome Khalifa University's president, Mr. Professor Todd Larson. Salaam alaikum. I'd really like to add my welcome to all of you for the inaugural talk in Khalifa University's Distinguished Speakers Series on Science, Technology, and Society. Indeed, uh, as our student mentioned a few minutes ago, it's never been more apparent, in fact, both on the national and regional scales, that advances in technology are reshaping our societies at an ever faster rate. And they really provide us with new opportunities as well as new dangers. Can we take advantage of emerging technologies to promote common good and advance human welfare? Or is technical progress going to present perils that we are unable to foresee or contain? Or, as I suspect is the case probably, is it a mixture of both? So over the coming months and years, our intent for this series is that speakers will address topics ranging from the information age to biotechnology, robotics, climate change, sustainable development, and so on. Tonight, our focus is on a subject that exemplifies the sorts of dilemmas that arise when one copes with technological change, and specifically, the dangers stemming from the proliferation of nuclear weapons and the hope of managing those dangers. So for the UAE and the Gulf region, there are many reasons why this question has become increasingly important. As is alluded to in the title of tonight's talk, in our proximity are nuclear states that are torn by internal strife and others which many experts believe are seeking to develop nuclear weapons. And I will leave those subjects entirely to our speaker. But another reason for the UA's particular interest in this subject is hopefully more positive. As the world confronts the growing environmental threat stemming from carbon-based sources of power, and as the world's resources of oil are depleted, the appeal for the peaceful use of nuclear power has grown. As we all know, I think, the UAE and South Korea have embarked on a project to build a nuclear power plant, actually four nuclear power plants in the UAE. And Khalifa University, I think as many will also know, is an important participant in the effort to maximize nuclear safety, security, and compliance with the international treaty designed to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons while assuring that the UAE in the development of this technology has the best trained workforce available to them uh, to make sure that these plants are operated to a worldwide standard. So globally speaking, and has been recognized for a good long while, how we use or misuse the enormous energy released by nuclear reactions has been one of the central issues confronting all humanity since the dawn of the nuclear age in 1945. Tonight's speaker, Professor Graham Allison, has long played a central role and a very important one in the global effort to reduce this nuclear danger and to understand it. As a Harvard University professor, noted author, and policymaker, Professor Allison has helped to reduce the size of the world's nuclear arsenals, to alert us to their dangers, and to show us, hopefully, how to avert them. So this is, of course, not the only important contribution that he's made. He is the founding dean of the world-famous Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University and currently directs Harvard's Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs. He's also, I think, as many of you will know, a best-selling author on the subject of how governments make decisions. So we are indeed fortunate uh, to have Professor Allison visit 
Abu Dhabi and Khalifa University and to share his views with us this evening. I can't think of a better choice to inaugurate our seminar series. Please then join me in welcoming Graham Allison uh, to the podium. Thank you very much uh, for the kind introduction. And let me say what a uh, privilege and honor it is for me to be here today. Uh, what an honor to be here in Abu Dhabi and to participate in this uh, speaker series. The topic of my lecture tonight uh, is the global nuclear order. Uh, not the most comfortable subject, but among the most important. And uh, if I were to summarize uh, the lecture in a single sentence, it would be, could the global nuclear order tonight be as fragile as, say, the landscape of the Middle East was this time last year, when it otherwise looked fairly stable. Or to put it again, could the global nuclear order tonight be as fragile as the global financial order was three years ago, when Wall Street assured us it was sound, stable, and resilient. So if you have a single takeaway from the night, it would be to contemplate that question, the fragility or alternatively stability of the global nuclear order. So I had the opportunity here today to begin chatting with your president uh, of Khalifa University, uh, uh, Todd Larson. Uh, I had a chance to meet uh, uh, Eric Alhamani, uh, and a chat with David Goldfisher, and I can't tell you how excited I am about your aspirations for the university and for this center. Uh, I come from uh, the oldest university in the United States. Uh, it's not old in terms of, let's say, European universities or some other cultures, but for America, 1636 is a long time ago. And one of the questions often asked at Harvard is how, is an, how can an institution that likes to think of itself as uh, ancient and honorable be anything more than just being old and tired? And one of the ways Harvard uh, has managed over the years is by creating new things at Harvard and new relationships. I had the great good fortune to be, as was said in the introduction, the founding dean of the newest school at Harvard, the John F. Kennedy School of Government. So that's just something that's happened over the past three decades at the university. But uh, trying to imagine what you're going to create here and envision it, and then the really hard work which comes in doing it, okay, is exciting and I'm happy to be able to be a small part of this exercise by giving the lecture tonight. Presentation tonight comes in three parts. The first is an introduction that consists of a quiz. No Harvard presentation complete without a quiz. I can assure you it's not graded, okay? But you've got it there in front of you. Uh, secondly, I'm going to show you a, a little video, uh, which is uh, two brief clips from two recent made movies or documentaries on the nuclear challenge, one called Countdown to Zero, which was done by the producer of the movie Inconvenient Truth, the Al Gore movie, and one called The Nuclear Tipping Point, made by the Nuclear Threat Initiative. So that's the first, and then I'll make a few comments, introductory. Secondly, I'm gonna take you briefly through a PowerPoint presentation that addresses the question of the systemic trend lines that are undermining the global nuclear order, in my view. And then thirdly, the part that I look forward to the most is questions and answers, where all questions are open and I will only answer in terms of my own views and only speaking for myself personally, not for the U.S.